Hey, welcome back to Vice Grip Garage. Today is day two of Summit Racing Drag Week. It's raining cats and kittens. This is gonna be interesting. How does 119 million horsepower Pro Mod drive in the rain? I don't, I don't know. It's, it's it can't be good though. These guys did take the wheelie bars off. They got stuck in the driveway last night, so they threw them up top and zip tied them down. They also took the chutes off, try to keep them dry, put some filters on the turp skis, and I guess that's just it. And then it's hope and pray. You guys did air up the drag radios a little bit, right? Yeah. So the thought there is balloon them out a little bit so the center of the tire hits. Bicycle tire, you know, like in the front, or like a front runner on a dune, or on a, like on a quad, you know. But it's got like one point of contact, so hopefully it'll be good. <laughs> Tom said they're driving slow today. I don't believe it until I see it, because slow yesterday was 80, 85. So we'll see. And yet we're still always behind. I have no idea how that works. So even though it's technically a rain day, Tom still has to go to the track and get some photographic evidence that a guy scooted in there. But first, we're going to go down the hill, gas up. Uh, those guys came in on fumes last night and put a couple gallons in. They actually ran out just down the road. And then we're going to hit the interstate and see what happens. I put all the science on the windscreen today. Got the Rain X 5000 on the outside and the Anti Fog 11000 on the inside. And I'll be dipped. It actually kind of works. I mean, I ran to the parts store really early this morning to get it, and this was just white. I couldn't see anything, but it's still coming down. It was raining a lot harder earlier, but. I thought you were playing the blinker game on me. You were turning left, but your right blinker was on. It's opposite from the car. Oh. The car goes left, the trailer goes right. coming in we had some really persistent squeaking in the front and it changed depending on the way that I turned or the weight of the vehicle man. and today that's gone so I'm not sure if it was chassis something with the air suspension I don't know how any of the stuff under there works but today it's not doing it so I think the rain has kind of lubricated whatever was grinding my only fear is we lose a spindle. I've done that before on the road, and that was a complete nightmare. These are NASCAR takeoff A-arms with Chrysler ball joints, and I have no idea what the spindles are. So, I mean, we could be in a hurt for parts, but we're just going to keep our ears open and hope it doesn't come back. I guess we'll just kind of pretend we didn't hear it earlier. Just pulled into Edge Mont, Edge Waters. Edgewater. Edgewater? Edgewater? Yeah. And uh, Eli here, he sent me a message. He's a crew chief on Blackhawks. Look at this. He gave me this. He wore this every day, right? Yep. That's pretty awesome. Uh, I'm going to put this up here in the truck. I'm going to take it home, stick it on the shelf. Appreciate your service, man. Hey, very, very I much. Appreciate what you do. Blade is falling in for his picture. Tom's getting his. Look at this van here. He's got a bump stick in here or something. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, she's snoozed up a little bit. Got you an Edelbrock. New lightning charger. Looking good, man. He wants me to sign the dash. Are you sure? Yeah. All right. There you go, man. Got them floor masters in her. got them digital cutouts, I guess. You guys are the best fans ever. I swear it. Uh, right now we're on the way to Indianana. Indian, Indianapolis, Indianana. Yeah, I think that's right. Rainy, wet, cold. That's fine. Should get there in a couple hours, give or take. And I might just have a surprise for you guys. See if I can make her happen. We're cruising about 40, 45 miles an hour. Rain hasn't showed. 
So as you guys probably know, I work with Peak quite a bit and just uh, made a phone call and we're going to get a behind the scenes tour at the John Ford Center. Not quite sure what that entails or what's involved, but I'm really looking forward to it. John's actually there today. Can't promise that we'll meet him, but it's still better than just hanging out in the rain. How's the drive going? Um, have you ever driven on black ice for about 10 hours straight with uh, bald tires? <laughs> so that That's good, how far uh, I went. And how far did we go? Five miles? Yeah, not very far. I, I can't imagine how stressful that is. Oh, I had to uh, stop and take a break. Yeah, there's... He basically has zero traction. I mean, there's nothing you Well, the do. rumble strip's my traction. Like you see, I was I wondering what the, you were doing. When yeah. I go uphill, I go in the rumble strip. <laughs> This is uh, just one of those things, you got to go slow and take your time, be safe, nothing's worth being hurt or falling up a car like that, so. Yeah, on the, on the GoPro in there at about 25 minutes, she went all sideways or whatever one time, so. Oof. No I bueno. Slowed her, slowed her down a little, a little hair after that, so. I'm not sure if it's the way the road is or not, but we're leaning pretty hard. And I'm nervous that that Drinker side front airbag is down. And our air is a lot lower than it normally is. But could the road be tilted? I don't know. I think for now we're just gonna pretend I didn't say anything until stuff starts rubbing or we bought them out. I'm assuming Tom's gonna wanna take a break again here in a little bit. And then we'll take a look at it. So is there, where's the fuse to that part? Relay's here. Oh, relay. Just running through the relay, comes back up through here. Oh, here's your problem right there. Easy fix. Just some wires came unplugged. There's a trans dip stick that had wires zip tied to it and bumpy roads, whatever. Dip stick fell, plugged the wires, so the air pump on the engine, the compressor wasn't kicking in. So we didn't have enough air in the system to air on both bags, which is way better me. than... Oh, are telling him? Yeah. He's, he's like, telling I, all of them. He's like, I know this. We just went over it. Uh, hey, we just figured this out. But I was actually dreading trying to figure out how air bag systems work or whatever these are. So this is great news. I'll show you really quick. So this is the relay that runs the compressor. And I thought maybe a fuse had blown. So I was looking for a fuse and Steve came over here and pointed out that Here's the power back here. And this bouncing around, unplug that. Oh, is that off one? Yeah, and that kicked off. So, thank goodness we're good to go. Check the fluids real quick. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Here's a Donald's tip for you, fellers. He's got red wheels. And pipes. Stop wasting the monies on the. Big Mac, and they always got that extra bread in the middle you don't want. You try to modify it, and it never comes out right. Just get a double cheeseburger plain, add Mac sauce and onions, boom. Cheaper and delicious. Chevrolet right up front. Not gonna lie, guy's pretty excited right now. Just got in here. They're gonna let us come in and actually take a tour of the facility. And I just got a sneak peek. You guys are gonna like this. I'm gonna go grab Cletus, Tom, Kevin from KSR, a couple other people. We're gonna go check this place out. 
Oh, it just keeps going. Like, do you get on a trolley or like a cart, or can you walk yeah, we this? Have bikes. Oh, it's all walkable. <laughs> this is also an exercise program. It's not just a tour. Wow. That was all the way to that door down there. I don't know how to ride That's impressive. Look at these banners. As a team, 21 time champion. It's just absolutely incredible. Jeez. Oh, dang. Oh, interesting. Yep. Is that just for familiarity or? Yeah. So they stage these up exactly how it would be at the track. Poor guy's got a whole stack. <laughs> You're gonna get your uh, car critiqued by John Force here, Tom. What do you think? Pretty <laughs> sweet. Got that there. Pete Coolant, Blue Def, Windshield Marcher, got her all. 74 million blocks. Whole bunch of peak back there. <laughs> A lot of stuff. I can't show you what's over here. Sorry. Body number one. What do you think of this place, Chris? It's pretty sick, dude. It's pretty incredible. The facility is top notch. It's probably the cleanest shop I've ever been in. Yeah. Life. I like how they set it up like it's the pits. So they're working on the cars like in the same way they would be at the track. Yeah, it's pretty smart. Yeah, and then you never have to, you don't have a shot, your whole shop is right there so all the time. John is such a cool guy. He is absolutely hilarious. The guy is something else. He accidentally burned his finger on Clater's turbo. Oof, that's hot. Said he's never seen anything like that before. So I think we're gonna grab a bite to eat and I don't know, are we there yet? No, we got ways to go. Tom's gotta to do a little bit of work on the car. So we came to his friend's house, Johnny's place. And uh, you know, no big deal. He just builds funny cars, I guess. So, pretty awesome. A big foot peek around. These bodies are actually really thick. And there's like a corrugated cardboard with that carbon kind of top over it. I don't know how to explain it. But it's not what you think it would be. How many hours do you have in something like this? Just the way it sits? A lot. A lot. You probably build a car. But like I have some side projects all the time. Yeah. Just think for a second, all of the planning that goes into this for every clevis and hook and mount. I mean, it's just a tremendous amount of work. These welds are just unbelievable. Some really talented people out there. So I'm going to pop this header off real quick. She's leaking down here on the bottom somewhere. And I think we got a. Do a little bit of Zeus in on it and it's uh you know it's really hot so I'm doing the right thing and just gonna fight through it <laughs> got the header off silicon cleaned up and he's gonna weld it up over there there's a crack on the bottom there and then uh, we'll get this put back on Steve's underneath checking the rods and main bearings right now Tom made some phone calls and went down his contacts. Found a feller that builds race engines in his pole barn in the backyard. And I'll be dipped if he doesn't have the right bearings, so. 
I think they're making a deal right now to pick up some bearings. And it was only like 1.4 miles from where we're working on the car, which is just crazy, but worked out. So we're at Jeff Edwards Racing, right in his backyard. And he's got stuff and tools and things and more stuff and tools and things. He does it all. A lot of machining, it sounds like, but he also does some assembly. That guy just hanging out. Huge amount of respect for fellers that can amass this kind of collection of tools and knowledge. I don't know, I think it's a line hone machine. I'm not sure. Cletus is in there, changing the rear gear. Look at that rut beer brown. It's beautiful. Yep, Plymouth Deluxe. Smells great. By the who and way, and therefore I forgot to mention this morning, with Tom's Camaro, it ended up just being a push rod failure. One of the ends, hardened ends where the cup is, just snapped right off, so it was kind of coming in and out of the rocker there which is great news actually it wasn't a lift or a rocker failure right now they're just replacing one bearing that's all it needed and it really wasn't even that bad but just one of those preventative maintenance things when you have a 37.9 million horsepower car i guess i don't know I haven't been there yet so it turned out to be a really good day for a rain day met a lot of great people went to a few shops saw a lot of cool stuff man i'm just having a fun time right now and i just wanted to reiterate there's been some comments worried about is this the new direction of the channel no i'm a car lover i'm just i'm doing car things with my friends right now there's always going to be revivals i am always going to save cars that is my mission save cars get kids involved reward veterans be kind to people that's not going to change ever so don't you worry about it these are just some great opportunities right now and who's who's who, who's going to say no to Hey, you want to hang out with Tom Bailey? Yep. You want to race a car in race week? Well, yeah, let's do that. So don't worry about it. So tomorrow morning, I think we're going to try to race Indy. It was supposed to be today, but it got rained out, obviously. And then we're going to do another track, I think, under the lights. They're kind of just moving stuff around right now based on the weather, trying to get the most runs in as possible. So I'm not really, I don't, I don't, I don't really know what's going on. To be honest, I'm kind of just, you know, I'm in an ice cream truck. I'm just I'm following, doing the thing. I know you should stay tuned. There's a lot more action coming. Definitely some more racing. There's more road tripping. I'm sure there's going to be more broken parts. That's fine. Thanks, guys, for watching. Appreciate you all very much, and we'll see you next time.